Let's talk a bit now about, um, about you and your family, because you've, you're head of this very remarkable and talented family. I'm not the head, but I... Uh, you're not the head. <laughs> you're the titular head, yeah, I suppose, yeah, you and me, yeah. yeah. Um, whenever one reads about you, um, about this, this family, it seems that there's a rift in it and this sort of thing. Are these reports exaggerated? Quite. Uh, both Jane and Peter went through what is known as a classic rebellion, when a child decides to go into the father's business, whether he's a banker or, or in show business. There has to be a kind of rebellion. You don't want to feel that your father made it possible for you or, or that you're a success because your father, of your father. So they both went through what is recognized and called classic rebellion. And I like to think that I was smart enough to recognize it for what it was. Also, they both did well almost immediately, so I didn't have to hold my breath too long, and it didn't last very long. But when it did last, there were some provocative things said, and they are the things that are still in the, in the, in the legend. And so if, as Time Magazine did a cover story on us only like three years ago, and they assigned a reporter to each one of the three of us for like two weeks each, and then all of us were together. Jane and Peter and I were together with all of the reporters. Not one word that was taken during those two weeks was used in the story. It was all a rehash of the old stuff. And both of them were as unhappy with it as I was. But that's why it lasts, because it's in the files, and it's part of the legend, and it's, uh, it's not so. We couldn't be more friendly, happier together. I couldn't be more pr I'm proud. I'm in awe. Really? I'm in awe of both of them. Jane not only is one of the most incredible actresses I've ever seen, and I have to say that I'm not surprised because I saw her do things early before she'd committed herself that I thought if she ever did, uh, does want to, she's going to make it. But uh, when I saw Clute as an example, I couldn't wait to sit and talk to her. And this was not father-daughter. This is actor-actor. Where did it come from? How did that happen to you? What did you know? And we're talking actor talk. And when I realized that the scene that had knocked me out was an improvisation, which I couldn't do if I was paid money to do it. I just can't. I have to have the written word and, and a director and help me a lot. They got to this scene, and, and the director knew what he wanted, but it wasn't written. And he talked to Jane about it, and he says, just give me a moment. And this came out in an improvisation and just tear, tore you apart anyway. Uh, she's not only this incredible actress, but she's the activist that you would know her to be. And I'm in, in nothing but uh, sympathy with... You're proud uh, of that part of her, right? Yeah, I'm part of it, <coughs> only in as much as I'm in sympathy. Yes. It's not in me to be an activist, just in my makeup. I'm not... She's extrovert. I'm very introvert. Um, it, it's impossible. It would be impossible for me to get up as much as my heart might be full and my head full of a cause, to face an audience in my character to talk about it. I couldn't do that. Mm. I'm in awe that she does to five people or 5,000 people, mm. and is good at it and feels deeply. Um, Peter, I'm in awe of, um, for a lot of other reasons, too. I've been in films for 40 years, and I have no ambition, even though I produced 12 Angry Men, it was given, me as an opportunity. I, I put it together and then I became an actor and let Sidney Lament take over. Peter, do you know the expression hyphenate? Well, I know what it means. In the trades no, in America, a hyphenate is a producer, director, writer, director. Oh, I see, yes. yes. I was going to say my son is the original hyphenate, but I re realized that Orson Welles was the head of him. <laughs> But when Peter was 12 years old in his little boarding school, he wrote, produced, built the scenery, made the wardrobe, played four parts, and directed it, you know, <laughs> the original. Mm -hmm. And he's doing it now in films. And he is more knowledgeable about films in the few years that he's been involved than I have been in 40 years. Mm -hmm. He knows not only every different kind of a lens, but why it's used. He knows all the technical things about making films. He also knows how to release them and distribute them, which I'm not, not only knowledgeable about, but couldn't care less about. <laughs> but, uh, he's, he's, he's brilliant. 
It could, in fact, have gone so wrong, couldn't it? I mean, the of classic thing, the famous it father. Can. And the it happens so often that it, that's why it's heartbreak, uh, particularly if the parent, if one of the parents is famous and one of the child, a child of that parent decides they want to try it mm. and doesn't make it. That's failure. Yes. The hardest thing in the world is to commit yourself and then admit that you're not going to make it and change your mind. It's admitting failure. If you're called Fonda, of course, it's, it's doubly sad in that situation. Of course. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Do you think you'll ever, the family, be able to live down the years of rebellion and the legend that grew up around? Oh, sure. Oh. It, it only hurts when it's sort of rehashed and somebody decides to do a, a book called The Fabulous Fondas and it's unauthorized, so he gets his material out of the morgue, which is what the, you know, the newspapers call their, their files. And so, again, it's a rehash, and I haven't read the one that's out called The Fabulous Faunas, but uh, Jane did, uh, and uh, she read it in galleys and said, don't read it, Dad, it'll just make you mad, so I haven't. <laughs> hmm. Do you have any plans to work together as a family as in a, a project? As a matter of fact, we do, and it's Jane's idea. About, well, it's about two and a half years ago, it was at our home, a Christmas gathering, family gathering, and. Peter has had an option on a Howard Fast novel about this American Revolution, Valley Forge, actually, for 10 years. Never been able to get a script on it. And he was talking about it that day, that Christmas day at the house. And Tom Hayden, Jane's husband, turns out to be also a scholar of the American Revolution and uh, was listening about it. Anyway, that discussion started the idea that there should be a picture about the American Revolution that isn't what you read in the textbooks that you're taught in school. And Jane has single-handedly followed through on it. She got an historian who did the back work, the, the, uh, the, uh, the research. research. Mm -hmm. She's gone to a studio. She's got the money from Columbia Studios. It's now in the hands, the material is in the hands of a top writer. They've made a deal with Peter and me and Jane and Sidney Pollock, a director, and if the script is delivered and we all like it, we'll be in business this time next year. Mm -hmm. That should be a very exciting project. Yeah.